Merlin is the almighty wizard of Arturian legends. He is most certainly one of the best known magicians in the world. Merlin is generally depicted as an old man with a long beard and sometimes a pointed hat. The wizard has a troubled origin. He is said to be the bastard son of a princess who was enticed in a dream by a devilish figure known as the Incubi, the male version of the Succubi. Due to his ominous origin, the young Merlin was always mistrusted and his detractors pointed to him as the son of the devil. From a young age, Merlin had already displayed special powers. He was in a position to read thoughts and predict the future. Vortigern, the king who had encroached on the throne, wanted an impregnable fortress to be built, but it was always collapsing. By his powers, Merlin revealed that two dragons fought under the castle's foundations, one white and one red. The magician informed the usurper that this was a sign that the rightful king was to be brought, and so it was. Merlin proceeded to serve as an advisor to the new king Uther Pendragon. The king sought the magician's help to seduce the duchess Igraine, wife of his enemy. Merlin consented to help on the sole condition that the fruit of this union be given to him. The sorcerer thus made Uther take the form of her beloved's husband, and through this trick, he united himself with her. Arthur, the crown prince, was born out of this bond, and he was handed over to Merlin. The prince was raised in private, and his majesty would only be revealed at the opportune moment. With Uther's demise, Merlin plunged the royal sword into a stone and it was written that whoever drew the sword from the stone would be made the new king. When Arthur was old enough, he pulled the sword out of the stone and became king of Brittany. Merlin guided the young King Arthur as his advisor and turned his protege into a mighty king. The wise man was also a great teacher of the magical arts. He instructed the secrets of magic to Morgana who turned into a powerful and dangerous sorceress. He also delegated his knowledge to the fairy Vivian, the Lady of the Lake. With her, he also had an affair that would lead the magician to his downfall. It was the wizard's job that led to the creation of the famous round table at which Arthur and his knights would gather. He would also be instrumental in creating the castle of Camelot, the heart of Arthur's kingdom. Merlin is the near-perfect model of the archetype of the Gmentor contained in the concept of the hero's journey prepared by the mythographer Joseph Campbell. Campbell's mentor would serve as a guide, directing the hero towards his goal, offering him advice, training, and even providing magic weaponry to meet the hero's challenge. Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi of Star Wars is inspired by Merlin's archetype. Just like the Wizard of Camelot, Obi-Wan tries to steer young Luke Skywalker towards his fate by handing over a special sword to his protege. Merlin would have inspired two other famous magicians, Dumbledore from Harry Potter and Gandalf from Lord of the Rings by Tolkien. The magician, even today, is a great reference for those who study magic and other hidden arts. And it is for all of this that Merlin is worthy of the title of the most notorious magician of all time.